Do I look like a waitress? I hope so because I just did an audition for a waitress for Hola. Y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. El pin de labio que tengo puesto para este video is by Maybelline and it's called Mauve For Me. In this video, we're going to have a blast talking about my luxury wish list. Christmas is right around the corner, I can't believe I'm saying that. And then my birthday. These lists have to be done months in advance. <laughs> Let's get into it, bitches. So, the first thing that I want, that I'm obsessing over, that I'm drooling over, and I have no shame in my game, is this jacket by none other than D&G, which is Dolce & Gabbana, but if I looked a little closer into the fine print, it really says Daisy & Joy, which is me and my husband. Look at this jacket. Gorgeous, street edge, streetwear, street style. I can see myself wearing this every day here in New York. I feel like it fits perfect. It's giving me like this Parisian vibe. Like I can see this working. Like if I go to Paris next week and me and my husband went to some swanky bar, we're having a drink and we feel great and we're young and in love and in charge. And then we go to the Eiffel Tower and I'm wearing this gown and like, okay, I went far again. But this cost $1,995. And it's called the Love Yourself Cropped Jacket. Looking at this price tag for this jacket is not as ridiculous as I thought it was going to be. So I will just send the bill to my husband. Husband, I know you're gonna be watching this, so you can start by looking at this luxury wish list. Isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? Could you not see me with this coat, with this jacket, whatever you wanna call it, in New York City or in Paris? I don't discriminate, I want it, mommy. If you haven't checked out Peter Darrow, please check him out. Not at his place or don't phone him or anything like that. I'm just talking about his fashion line. Look at his fashion line. It's just like sexy. It's like sexy, so sexy you have to whisper. I mean, I can just see myself drenched in his clothing one day. This shirt is on my list. Look how sexy this is. I don't have any fucking place to go to wear this right about now, but I'll invent something. I mean, I will buy this shirt and I will invent this whole scenario. Like me and my husband, we're gonna go to this beautiful rooftop in the middle of the winter. They have like the winter bar here, like you go in, but that makes no sense because then I can't wear this, I'm gonna be freezing. We'll go somewhere and I will wear this shit because it's gorgeous. This costs $1,150. These fuckers do not spare us with these price tags because this is why I don't get my hands on them. I mean, do I have to spend so much to look beautiful in this shirt? You look so gorgeous. What do I have to do to put you on my body? I'll rob the fucking place. This is called the detachable glove set sweater. This comes with the gloves? Oh my God. Isn't this so seductive and alluring and just gorgeous? I just feel like this begs to have a martini with and go to a lounge and just party the night away. Sexy. I mean, the cutout here and then the gloves. I mean, shit. This is perfect for fall. Gives me those moody vibes. It almost makes me want to wear like smoky eyes, a glossy lip, and go out and just have fun. Like, you know, when you were in your 20s and there was no responsibility in the world and no freaking drama, no problems, and just party the night away. <sighs> Damn, those were some good times. This one is by David Coma. I don't fucking know him, but I would like to. Embroider waist Katie top. Stunning. Luxurious. Money, right? Doesn't this scream money? Like it's just like something about like when the fabric looks good and it just feels good in your body. Like you know this shit is heavy duty. Heavy duty substantial hotness, right? I mean I wish I had a red carpet to go to because then I would wear something like this. One day, 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 one day. I'm trying to put it out in the universe. One day, one day, one day, one day, one day. This fucker costs $1,765. But this is a luxury wish list. Dear husband, knock knock, to say. This is to go out. This is like, you know you're gonna go out with your husband or if you're single with your girlfriend and you're about to go on a manhunt. <laughs> I said you're gonna go on a manhunt. <laughs> it just begs like to go to these beautiful bars here in New York City. The Katie top. Remember the name Katie. Why that name doesn't go with the shirt? Okay, I lingered a little bit too long under the David Coma fashion line because look at this dress. Doesn't this give you like mod slash airport vibes? 
but like a little bit more avant-garde airport vibes. This has a slight elegance that I'm not naturally drawn to. I mean, maybe one day when I hit my 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe. But for now, I'm not into like elegant things. I like my stuff like edgy and fashion forward and like with a slight streetwear, street style type of aesthetic. But something about this I find really interesting. I think it's a mod part. It gives me slight mod, but like I said, a little bit more elevated type of mod. Sexy. I can see myself wearing this with like thigh high boots, even if they're flat boots to get to really play up that mod element. This is gorgeous. I just need places to go to. No, for scratch places, I need money. How about money, Daisy? Because how are you going to get your hands on these things? I'm speaking to myself and like I'm in the air or something. This is called the Chain Detail Katie Coat. And this costs $1,675. I didn't say I loved David Coma personally. I will wear this to hang out with three or four of my girlfriends and just go out in the city and have a great time with true friends friends that love you unconditionally fuck i don't have one i've seen this sweater i don't think this sweater is brand new because i've seen it this is by balenciaga yeah i hit balenciaga usually i'm not into labels wait let me rephrase that i don't like advertising labels like i don't really like when my clothes have a lot of labels going on but something about this is just calling me it's saying daisy wear me wear me daisy daisy you will look so beautiful and so hot with this over your body just picture it and bitch when that sweater was speaking to me like that i definitely pictured it because look at this look at the color it's like a teal color isn't it gorgeous? I don't even have this color in my wardrobe. Just the color alone is like so satisfying to look at. This fucker costs $1,390. I mean, damn. If I see somebody walking around with this sweater and I know it's $1,390, don't be surprised if I rob your ass. Oh my God, am I going to get flagged on YouTube for saying that? It was a joke. I don't rob anybody anymore. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, I don't even know what else to say other than... This is streetwear, elevated, badass, sexy, effortless, cool. This has this coolness to it. I will wear this all winter long to the point where you'll be sick of it. I should do that. Like I'll pick one month and just wear that sweater for that whole month. <laughs> because for $1,390, I should be wearing that shit every day to get my money's worth. <laughs> Mommy, check this out. I went out to a bar a couple of years ago when things were normal. I think it was to the William Vale in New York. I mean, in Brooklyn, New York. It's this rooftop, it's gorgeous. And I saw a girl with this jacket. And let me tell you, since then, which I think it was like two years ago, I haven't forgotten about this jacket. No siree, I have not forgotten about this jacket. I even asked that girl, where did you get your jacket from? Yes, I did, I'm one of those. If I like something, I would ask you. And I did, and I asked her, she told me it was Alexander Wang. And I looked for it, and looked for it, and I never saw it, and now it's here. Haunting me. Freaking haunting me. We're in October, and it's haunting me. Nice timing. Look at this, $650 by Alexander Wang. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, when I saw $650, yes, it's a lot, but in my mind, I was like, when I look at Alexander Wang, I have an idea of these brands, and I did not expect this jacket to be $650. I was expecting it to be way over that. Am I going to get it? <laughs> I wish. But here we are. Wish list. So, I'm putting it out there, universe. Listen to me, per. I want this jacket. This shit is so badass. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. it is cool, right? Hi. $650, damn. Why do I have to have an expensive taste? It's so good though. So good, so good. Oh my God, don't hate me, but I went to Dior. I mean, Dior is like literally on my top wishes because I can never get my hands on it. You know what I mean? I can never really get my hands on it. Look at this, the Dior Alps hooded short dress a nod to the alps that i've never been to isn't this cool look at this it has like a sporty vibe but like a luxury sporty vibe it's like right up my alley i will wear this shit and swing my ass down some mountainous hill full of like six feet of snow and freeze my ass because this is a dress you think i wouldn't i love it that much this shit is so badass it just gives me the goosebumps ay, ay, ay. it's just like the way it looks 
luxurious street style sporty sexy money and i have that dior beautiful cool label all over my body okay it's just really in the back but i love it i love it i think this is really cool this bitch costs four thousand three hundred dollars what the fuck is that that's abuse if you ask me that's abusive how are you gonna make me love you dior for that price four thousand three hundred and freaking dollars for this fucking dress <sighs> damn you i fucking love you and then when i checked out dior you know i can't stop at one thing this is the dior alps stand collar sweater isn't this gorgeous this is giving me winter it's giving me a little bit of holidays a very modern aesthetic super contemporary luxurious cost two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars i can't even look at you right now that's how pissed off i am two thousand one hundred and fifty dollars i don't even want to look at you right now that's how freaking pissed i am that i can't get my hands on these beautiful clothing for someone that is addicted to fashion it doesn't care about looking for rehab i went back to peter doe killer killer or kill me now kill me now look at them sexy sexy mm. look at those killer heels that lose sight beautifulness right before you this cost 775 dollars and it's a standard pump but not just your typical run-of-the-mill standard pump i mean look at the heel this edge and then the front of it has this pointiness that makes it even more futuristic i don't even remember the last time i bought a pump because i don't have fucking places to go so why would i be buying so many heels man aren't these sexy all right let's tally up the damage that my husband's gonna do for me <laughs> Just kidding. The Peter Doe pump, $775. The Dolce & Gabbana down jacket, $1,995. The David Coma Katie top, $1,765. The Katie coat by David Coma is $1,675. The Balenciaga sweater is $1,390. The Alexander Wang denim jacket is $650. The hooded dress by Dior is $4,300. The Dior sweater is $2,150. For an outstanding total of $15,850. You know it was that Dior sweater, right? Thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe to embark on a magical and more stylish lifestyle. Hit the bell so you won't miss out on my next video.